guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a great day so far so in today's video as promised I'm gonna be sharing how I create some of my dashboards inserts and decorative elements for my agenda in Canva just to preface this this is all for personal use if you're a shop owner and you're looking to create something with a little bit more precision and close attention to detail I would definitely use either Adobe Illustrator or InDesign I use both of those as well but just for creating little things for my agenda here and there I like to use Canva because it's super user friendly and honestly I feel like you can get more creative in here because there's templates and imagery that you can use already built into the platform so I do have Canva Pro so some of these features might not be available in the free version, but I think it's like $12 a month. So first things first, when you start your page, you can either select their predetermined sizes. So those are good for if you're going to do like Instagram stories or posts. Otherwise, you can create custom dimensions to fit your agenda. So all you need to know is the dimensions for your size planner. So, so you can just go to Google and type in paper size chart. One should pop up pretty quickly. And then you can go ahead and grab the dimensions whether you're an A5, A6, A7, which is pocket size. You can go ahead and screenshot this one or you can pull up your own if you want to or print out a size chart for future use. So you can just go ahead and put in the dimensions and then you can browse the templates if you want if you're really new to Canva. I would go ahead and browse some of the templates and see if you can pull some ideas or some of the components from those and put those into your design and then work from there. I kind of know what I'm going to be doing today so I'm just going to start completely blank and I'm going to be making some inserts and some dashboards for my pet planner which is going to be my A6 size agenda. So I've already created a few things for this planner but we got another puppy which I am so 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 happy and and excited about. I showed you guys um, pictures of him on my Instagram, uh, but I wanted to kind of redo my pet planner because it was previously for our one dog and now we have two. So I'm kind of redoing some of the dashboards. So to start off, I want to redo the front dashboard, which was really, really cute. I had like dog bones, a little title, and I just want to make a few minor changes to include Sunny, who's our new Pomeranian. So just getting started, I'm recreating the first dashboard, which I used these solid dog bones. And a lot of times when I'm designing something, I like to make multiple versions so I can see which one I like. So for example, I have these lined dog bones versus the solid ones. I wanted to do a contrast, so I'll either do the solid dog bones with the lined paw print or a solid paw print with the lined dog bones. So I just like to make multiple pages and kind of play around with it. And this is a very realistic look at what it's like to design something. It's a lot of trial and error, playing around with things. Sometimes you have a really specific vision of what you want and other times you just kind of got to go in there and see what works for you and you might get inspired by something halfway through, which is again why I like Canva because there's so many different templates and different ideas that you can explore within the app. So um, I am just gonna start adding my title. Now Canva's really come a long way, so now you can add in your title, pick whichever font that you prefer, and you can also add some different effects. So here I'm using the curve effect, which just kind of arches your text, or if you fill up the entire circle, it'll make your text into a circle. So this is great if you're gonna be using it for design, or for like social media posts, or if you are into marketing or graphic design or advertising, you can make some really cool little elements in here. So to center your design, you can go up to position and click the center option, or you can just grab whatever you're trying to center and move it around the page until you find that purple center line. One thing that I like to keep in mind when I'm designing inserts is that there's gonna be holes on one side of the page. So if you're making your front dashboard, there's gonna be holes on the left-hand side. If you're designing the back side of that dashboard, there's gonna be holes on the right-hand side. So I like to make my design slightly off-center. Um, so for the front dashboard, it'll be slightly to the right. For the back side, it'll be slightly to the left because sometimes the holes do appear to cut into the design a little bit. I feel like if you just move it over just a tiny, tiny bit to the right, it looks a little bit more centered once you put it in your agenda. But it definitely depends on your design, so definitely play around with it. Print a practice run beforehand. Just print out a draft, punch it, throw it in your planner and see if it looks okay. Otherwise, go back in, move things around slightly and just kind of see what works best for you. 
So I just created my first dashboard and then I'm creating two kind of similar dashboards to go along with that because I'm going to have two sections or two chapters in this agenda, one for Oscar, our boxer, and then one for Sunny, who's our Pomeranian. So I want to have a section for each of them and I want it to kind of match the front dashboard. So if you're designing a theme for your planner, I would start with the front dashboard, pick which colors and what elements you want, and then from there you can kind of copy and paste over into different dashboards. So for these two chapter dashboards, I'm just starting with the first one and I'm just kind of messing around with the text, whether I want it to be all caps, whether I want the letters spaced out, italicized, the sizing of it. So I'm just kind of messing around and seeing what I like best and then I'm going to go ahead and copy this into the second dashboard and just change the name from Oscar to Sunny. On the left hand side, there's a vertical toolbar which has templates, elements, uploads, text, styles, logos, and more. So the template section is where you're going to find all of the pre-made templates. This is a great thing to explore first. I would actually explore all of these first so you can kind of see what's available and get some ideas. After that, you have elements which has stock images, uh, clip art, shapes, and photo grids. And then the upload section is where you're gonna find all of your uploaded media. So if you upload your own photos and videos, you'll find those there. The text feature has text boxes. You can also change your font. You can upload your own fonts. And then you can change the size, the style, the spacing. You can add effects like turning your words into a circle or a different shape or highlighting them. After that, you have styles where you can find different color palettes. And then below that is logos. So if you have any specific logos you wanna add, you can do that as well. And then there's a white horizontal toolbar at the top of the page. And that changes depending on what you have selected within your design. So if you click on your text, um, a bar will pop up where you can change the size, the style, the font. You can also reposition and change the opacity and make other minor changes to whatever you've selected. And I also wanted to add some imagery to kind of bring the planner to life. So I just looked through some of like the stock photos that they have in here or like the different graphics to see if I could find some examples of pets that look like mine. So I found a boxer that really looks like our dog Oscar, but I didn't really find anything that resembled Sunny. He has kind of a rare coat color and I tried to make it work, but it just didn't look how I wanted it to. So I decided to just scrap that idea since I wanted the dashboards to be the same. And since I found one for Oscar, but not Sunny, I decided to just get rid of that idea. But what I will end up doing probably is just printing out photos of them to add in here later. But I decided to just go ahead and scrap that and see if I could find like some of their favorite toys. Oscar really likes tug toys and Sunny likes stuffed animals. He's also teething, so I wanted to see if I could find like a cute teething toy. But ultimately, I decided to just leave that blank, but there are a lot of different images and graphics that you can find on Canva already, which is great, especially with the pro version. There's so much more that you can use on the pro version. So I finished my kind of front dashboards. Now I'm gonna start making the backs of those because when you print them, you'll just have you know, your design on the front and then the back will be blank. So I wanna create a little bit of a design to go on the back. So I just found these cute paw prints that I like. I changed the color to match the front of my dashboard and it'll show you your recent colors so if you just worked with a few different colors you can find them easily and I'm also going to change the opacity because I want them to be very very faint so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm just going to start adding in some cute pet quotes and keep in mind this is going to be on the back side so the rings are going to be on the opposite side instead of on the left hand side they'll be on the right hand side so that might make a difference on how you space this i wanted this to be on one side of the insert so i'm going to align it to the left hand side so that way there's plenty of room for the holes on the other side design I wanted to be super simple so all I'm doing is just picking out a couple words to italicize just for some fine details and then I'm finished and once I have exactly what I want I'm just gonna make a copy of that page and add in the next quote for the next dashboard and I'm doing two more of these <music> 
So now that I've completed the main decorative elements, which are just the dashboards, I want to make a couple inserts that I want to keep in this planner that are specific to my needs. So I wanted to have a little insert that has foods to try, so that's what I'm creating here. And I'm just setting it up with a title, some additional headers, and I'm going to make a little chart that I can write in. If you want to make a really streamlined and precise insert, I would definitely recommend using Adobe versus Canva because you're not going to get that same level of precision. But since this is just a little insert for me to use for fun in my pet planner, I really don't mind. So I'm just going to create it on Canva. And I don't know if there's a simpler way to do this, but this is just kind of how I'm doing it because I don't know exactly what I want to have on here yet. I'm just kind of creating as I go and as I think of new ideas. So I have my four headers which are food, date, rating, and notes. I changed the fonts to the fonts that I like. And now I'm just gonna add in some little lines to make the chart. So I'm going to the elements tab, grabbing a line, and I'm gonna thin it out. You can change the thickness of the line in the top left-hand corner. So I'm gonna put that to one so it's a lot thinner. And I'm also gonna change the opacity and the color to make it appear really light on the page. And again, one of the best ways to be efficient in your design is to complete one of the elements and get it exactly how you want it before you copy and paste that and make more of those. Otherwise, you'll have to go back and change all of them if you decide to make one minor adjustment. So I got the first one exactly how I wanted it and I made a few copies and now I'm going to select all of those, copy them, paste them, and then tidy them up. So I just did that a few times to get all of these lines and then you can just select everything you want to adjust, click position, and then you can either tidy them up or align them so that they're aligned properly and that they have even spacing. For the vertical line, I'm just gonna grab one of those horizontal lines. I'm gonna copy and paste and then rotate it 90 degrees and I'm gonna use them as spacers in between each of these headers. So after playing around with it for a little bit, I got the exact design I wanted and I made a copy. I decided that I wanted the front side of the insert to be for Oscar, the back side would be for Sunny. So I'm just highlighting the design and slightly moving them off center. So Oscar's will be the front of the page, I'll move it slightly to the right. Sunny's will be the back side of the page, I'll move it slightly to the left to account for the whole space. And I'm just zooming in and making sure that all the fine details are there as well. So moving on to my next insert, which is the favorite treats insert. I'm just gonna copy that exact design and move it to a new page, change the title, and then I'm just gonna move things around so I have something to start with. So I'm just gonna change the headers and kind of re-space the lines to get what I want for this insert. Once you have a few designs in here, it gets a little bit easier. You can kind of copy and paste elements from different designs and then put them into new designs to make your design process a little bit quicker. So this insert was super easy and fast to create. So to make the last insert, which is the vet visit insert, I'm just doing the same thing, copying that entire design and then changing up the headers and the line spacing. I'm gonna change the spacing a little bit more on this one though because I want a fuller sheet so I can fit more information in here. So you'll see that in a second, but I'm just changing the headers, I'm putting in date, purpose for the visit, and then any notes. So now that I have it exactly how I want it, I'm just gonna make some more copies of that. That way I can print them on the front and the back. And again, I'll just slightly off-center them to account for the whole space. At the last second, I wanted to add a little icon for the favorite treats insert. I thought it would be cute, so I just went ahead and found one I liked, changed the color, and popped it in there. But I'm pretty much done. I just wanted to create a couple of new inserts and a couple of new dashboards for my pet planner so I could have some items that were specific to me that I created just so my planner feels more personal and so it feels more fun. The main parts of the agenda are the Infinite Lotus monthly overviews and some note inserts for actual information and appointments and things like that. So once you're done, you're ready to export. So just check over your designs one last time, make sure everything's spelled correctly and that you have exactly what you want to print. And then you can go to the white button at the top right hand of the screen, which is the share button and click download. That's where you'll get to select your file type if you need crop marks, transparent background and all of that. 
So my file type is going to be a PDF print for the best quality. And then you can select your pages and turn the crop marks and bleed on. That'll show you where you need to cut your inserts. So one thing that you want to know is that if you're going to be printing inserts on the fronts and backs that you're printing and exporting the correct inserts back to back. So I'm going to do these separately because I'm going to keep some of these on my computer so I can reprint them like the inserts, the dashboards, I'm only going to print once. So I exported those two together and here you can see I have the front of the dashboard and the back of the dashboard exported together. So all I'll have to do is press print, it'll print on both sides and I can just cut out that one sheet of paper. You can arrange these in Canva so when you export multiple pages at once they're already lined up. Otherwise you can just make notes of which pages you want on the fronts and the backs and then export those ones together. Hope that makes sense. Um, but basically I'm just doing this so I can save some of the inserts on my computer, like the inserts and reprint them for future use. And the other dashboards I'm only printing once. So I'm just gonna X those out once I'm done printing them. So now I have all of my documents ready to go. So just go up to file, print, and then we're gonna select the number of copies that you want. If you want them to print two-sided, make sure you check that box. Depending on the printer, you might have different settings. Um, but you always want to make sure that your scale is set to 100. That's super important to make sure you're printing in the correct size. Otherwise, your crop marks aren't going to work. And then you can change your color settings and then just go ahead and print and cut on the crop marks that are included in your design. If you want to learn more about graphic design, there is a graphic design masterclass on Skillshare that's really, really helpful if you want to get more into Adobe. You'll learn how to use Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator, and it's a beginner level class, so you'll be able to follow along really easily. It goes through everything from topography to grids, the color wheel, setting up your documents, and so much more. And I really like this class because I already use InDesign and Illustrator, but the teacher of this class, Lindsay Marsh, she gives you some more insight and some shortcuts that you can use to streamline your process. I've been using Skillshare for over a year now and I absolutely love the platform. There's so much to explore, everything from marketing, productivity, lifestyle, so much more and, and they have been such an amazing sponsor of mine. I really enjoy working with them and I really get a lot of good use out of the platform. So I figured you guys would as well. The first 1,000 of my subscribers who use the link below will get a free one month trial. So definitely take advantage of that if you've been wanting to learn some new skills or brush up on some of your existing ones. Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A few of you have asked me to create this for a while, so I hope this helps. I am not an expert at all. I'm just an average person who happens to have a Canva account. So if you wanna get started with the design, this is definitely a good starting place. Like I said, if you want to design for your business, I would definitely check out Adobe Illustrator or InDesign or even Photoshop for more precise design. But Canva is super user-friendly and easy and it's a really Really, really good starting place if you want to create some custom items for your agenda so i'm super excited about my pet planner i hope to have a setup video up pretty soon so you guys can see what these inserts look like actually printed out and in use in my planner so definitely look out for that but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please let me know if you have questions i would be happy to help and i will see you guys next time bye